wow 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 Dream is to fly over the rainbow. Uh, my dream is to fly over the rainbow. My dream is to fly over the rainbow so high. We wanna. <laughs> job very nice job unfortunately i can't see any of you but thank you so much was that good fun yes or no very good okay i don't know if you realized what i did i used very few words a lot of body language and basically beatboxing music uh, for those of you wondering no there's nothing playing there it's just one mic and um, how do you take something like beatboxing and do something a lot more with it than just maybe perform on stage I'm going to be talking about a lot of points, very random points, uh, experiences of mine, and we're all going to put them together before I show you a video at the end of this talk. I'm not going to be talking for too long, by the way, because no one likes to hear artists for too long. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with, do, are you all aware it's quite difficult for an artist to make a living doing what he or she loves doing in India or maybe across the world? Yes? Okay, it's very very difficult uh, many people have different reasons as to why uh, artists find it really difficult I think it stems off from one simple thing uh, extreme capitalism I'd like to blame it on that for example um, the, w the way the industry right now exists you have to be at a really really massive stage in your career for you to make a living doing what you love doing I honestly am not very very good at beatboxing I'm just okay it's just that I have added a few things that I know will sell to make my money at the end of the day. I also don't do any free shows. Now, the biggest problem with the industry here is artists are always fighting with each other to get to that one space up there so that they can make their living. The second biggest problem would be the industry itself. I don't know if you've heard about this, but when you go to maybe a club to perform, they'll tell you, better. 
I will give you a good platform to perform. You showcase your talent, one day you will be big. But I won't pay you. That's what we get all the time. Now, most artists, most people actually do that. They go look for platforms to showcase their talent, even though they're very good doing what they do. And at the end of the day, they get ripped off. Many people cannot make it to that massive scale up there where the biggest musicians make a lot of money. Now, my question to all of y'all, how about this person on the side of the road playing a harmonium or maybe a person sitting and playing a flute? Isn't that person a musician? Isn't that person supposed to make a living doing what he or she loves doing? So you stop at a signal. A lot of people come, they ask you for arms, they are, they're begging basically. So you tend to compare these people to the same people who walk in your trains playing their uh, harmoniums, playing their flutes, or maybe even singing, and you do not give them money, or you might give them money. Now, we need to develop that respect for an artist. Let's forget musician, for artists. Point number two, like I said, competition. In school, in college, you are taught to get up on a stage like this, you put up against your peers, come on, let's see who gets the first, second, and third place. You're pitted against each other from the very, very beginning. I think competition is good to an extent because competition pushes a person to excel, to develop their talent, but after a while it just gets very annoying. So, um, we did this thing uh, in India. I watched AXN a while ago and the Guinness World Records were going on and this gentleman named Shlomo, a very famous beatbox in the UK, he steps on and he conducts the entire crowd to beatbox at the same time. And these are random people. And he set it at 100 and something people beatboxing at the same time. That was later broken at 300 people plus beatboxing at the same time. So what we did early last year in Feb 2011, we got a lot of people in Christ University, Bangalore, put them all into the auditorium, tell, told them, listen, we're not going to pit you against each other. This, it was for our fest, by the way. So we were doing something a little different than your normal competitions. We told them, come together. I'm going to teach you how to beatbox. We're going to divide the crowd into three different or four different groups and I'm going to teach each of you individual beats. Now, work together, learn the beats to create something absolutely mind-blowingly amazing. And they actually did. We set the Guinness World Record at 1,246 people beatboxing at the same time. All first-timers, all Indians at Christ University, Bangalore. The month before that, actually, before which, uh, this record was broken in November. I go on Facebook, I go to my page, and Shlomo is posted on my page. I'm wondering, this guy is, he never posts on my page, ever. He says, Vincent, I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that I broke your record, so, yeah. The good news is I'm coming to India and would like to do some work with you. I said, heck yeah, let's do that. And last month, or this month, earlier this month, I was in Bombay, um, it was a type between British Council and Sony Music. We put together India's first vocal orchestra, complete voices on stage, no instruments whatsoever, to form complete house tracks, hip-hop tracks, and that's an initiative by Shlomo, British Council, and Sony Music India. And this is a classic example of people working together to create something bigger and beautiful. Next, uh, like I said before, you all already know that it's quite difficult for artists to make a living. Now, I believe it's important for artists to help each other develop. Something we need to develop as Indians, something we need to develop as human beings, as artists in general. If you have a gig and that you can't attend, send the next guy. Maybe that will be bad for your work, but it's helping another person develop. And when the whole industry develops as a whole, at the end, everyone is happy, honestly. At the end of the day, everyone is happy. How do you do all this and add what you love doing? I, I'm really into social respons responsibility as a person. I don't have to go out of my way to do something to say I, I'm a good person, I'm socially responsible. No, it's with the way I work. So we're going to connect all these dots. Uh, a friend and I started a company recently. It's called Sidestep Solutions. We were thinking how can we bridge the gap between all these problems, all these confusing little problems? And this is something we came up with. We did a beta run of this uh, last month in December. So check this video out. Tell me if you like it or not. Oh, hello, it's me.
Okay, that's a rough idea of what we did. So, like I was saying, with Shlomo breaking our record here in India, it was a huge honor. A lot of people ask me, dude, are you feeling bad? I said, no, it's a huge honor for someone like him to look at India and say, oh, I'm going to break that. So, and he did it. It was a huge honor for us. But here's something he doesn't know. We set another world record with the Limca Book of Records for 2,100 people beatboxing the month before Guinness. And his world record stands at 2,098. <laughs> In your face! No, no, he's actually a very, very nice guy. We're going to be doing a lot of work together. Hats off to Shlomo. So I'm going to leave you with a few thoughts. The profession that you do, the education that you're into, find out ways that you can be better at it, better as a person. Don't go out of your way to be nice. Don't go out of your way to do things to impress other people. Just do what you do, do what you love doing, and be happy at the end of the day. Um, this teacher in college, I went to Christ University, Bangalore. I did psychology, sociology, and literature. So this literature teacher, her name is Thana Madam. She told me, she gave us this little essay and asked us to analyze it. And at the end of it, what we all came to understand was that, um, how can I put this? Okay, the lines were, artists make things beautiful, or artists make beautiful things. Beautiful things make life worth living. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vineet Vincent. This is our concept, it's called Beetroot India, and this is my way of making life a little bit more beautiful. Thank you so much.